everybody, it's Katie from Created by Katie. Thanks for joining me today. I have a fun little project that I wanted to share with you guys today. I am uh, making one of the bags that we got in last week's um, HTV monogrammable goodie bag. If you missed that video, I will put a link to it in the bottom of this video here on YouTube. But I got a goodie bag from My Vinyl Direct and there was a lot of cute things in there. And as soon as I saw one of the bags, I knew that I wanted to make it for a friend of mine. She is welcoming a new little fur baby into her house this week. And so I wanted to make her something fun because she's always giving me cute little gifts. So I wanted to do something in return. But today's video, I am going to show you how I made that bag. But I also wanted to share with you guys how to upload your files into Cricut Design Space either files that you've purchased from um, Etsy or other stores. And I will link all of the stores that I buy my designs from, as well as some of my favorite um, Etsy stores. So I don't get all of them from Etsy. Some of them I buy from a couple other companies. And I will share those links in the bottom of this video. But um, I was asked about how to upload them once you purchase them from Etsy. So I wanted to share that with you guys today. So I'm going to just give you a sneak little peek of the bag. So this was the bag that we got in that goodie bag last week. And this is what I did with it. So I'm really excited to share that with my friend and give it to her. And... Um, share with you guys how it all came together. So enjoy today's video. Once you purchase something from Etsy, you'll go to your purchases and it will say download files. When you click on download, um, it should pop up and it will load to your computer as a zip drive. So what that means is those files are just really large and they are downloading it to your computer. And then you're just gonna have to click extract files. That will put all of your files into one place. I have created a folder um, in my pictures for my SVGs and then that's where they go. You can do this however you want to and actually sometime I'm going to revamp this so that I only have the SVGs saved on my computer but that's for another time. <clears throat> so once you do that then you can go to Cricut Design Space and click upload and find the images and you're gonna wanna make sure that you're uploading the SVG. So you should have like an image you can see and then one that looks like that E Internet Explorer and that will upload it. That is the simplest way to upload it. Once they are all uploaded, you just click on them and click insert to design space and then fiddle around with them. I decided that I didn't want that Chihuahua thing on there. And I wanted to um, put the little puppy face where the paw print was. Um, so my friend, one of her little poochies, looks like that. So ready to add it to my bag. I just used my Cricut Easy Press to warm things up. Um, I didn't measure, <laughs> so I had to cut things apart. But once I got it all ready, then I just... Um, adhered it down and used the easy press to heat it onto the bag. Um, because this was canvas, I had to go a little bit longer. I don't have all of my settings just right and it kind of pulled up a little bit. So I did it a little bit longer and made it made sure that it worked. Um, but tip, <laughs> I was kind of moving along a little bit faster. You need to um, measure before you do this, but it all worked out in the end. It came out pretty good. The other thing that I found with canvas is that I needed to make sure that it cooled completely before I pulled that little clear transfer sheet up. And that's just little tips and tricks that you will learn as you go along. And then I just went ahead and heated up 
the mom part as well and added that to it. So that was pretty much all that I did. I hope that um, by sharing that with you guys, you won't feel so overwhelmed um, to purchase files online and add them to your collection. There are so many places, and like I said, I have links in the bottom of this video that will take you to all of the different places that I shop for SVG files. And a lot of times if I'm looking for something, like I just happen to be looking for Chihuahua files, I just went to Etsy and typed that in, and these were some of the ones that popped up. And that one image, like I said, looks like one of the pups that my friend already had. enjoyed that, make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos. Give me a thumbs up if you did like it, and also click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you.